I realized looking at your long toss throw is glove side extension. So look at your glove arm here, extended, right? Elbow extension. And then we look at your glove arm here and your mound throw and it never gets extended. It kind of stays compact. And obviously it's probably because you just shortened up your arm action and an easy way to feel your, your, your arm stain and elbow flexion is to keep your glove arm and elbow flexion too. But what I see as a, a potential, like, let's see if we can get this video here. Here we go. What I see as a potential breakdown of keeping you in glove side elbow uh, flexion is the fact that you might be pulling early. Okay, so your glove side here. And now obviously there's gonna be a trunk pull because you have a high release slot. So there's contralateral trunk tilt, and that's making way for your arm to clear. That's fine, but if we don't have like, essentially you're buying time for your trunk, right? So ideally we would keep a neutral trunk throughout the entire drive phase. We would land with a neutral trunk and our hips would be into rotation. That's creating that stretch. And we launch from that position once our foot anchors into the ground. Now with glove arm extension, you're just buying time for your trunk to rotate, right? So you get in, boom, you establish, you know, direction or plane of rotation with your glove arm, and then it starts its process to then elbow flexion, and then essentially your trunk goes and gets it, right? Now all this is happening within milli milliseconds, but I see fit to potentially give you progressions for glove side, more so just like, hey, play around with like establishing glove side um, extension because there is a little piece here that you are, you're that, that lead shoulder is somewhat pulling early and you're losing stretch, you're losing rotational energy as a byproduct of that. Um, so I don't know where your thoughts are, are at with the, the glove side and like why you get glove side extension in long toss and why you don't in mount. I don't know if that's an intentional thing that you're doing or maybe you're not even thinking about doing it. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three, you're out!